Hello and welcome to the VBA Jetpack course by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video we will learn how to use for each loop in VBA in Excel. So let's get started. Here I have a workbook with the name for each.xlsm and I have these five values in cell A1 to A5. Now let me press Alt F11 to open the VB editor. Here in VB editor I have this module inserted module 1 and here we would write the code. In the previous video we learned about for next loop and for next and for each loop are very similar uh, with a minor difference that for each loop is specifically used when you are looping through the objects in a collection. So this is specifically for objects and for next loop can be used along with the objects or otherwise as well. So let's go through how we use for each loop. I would start a sub with say for each loop and here the first thing that we would do is we would declare an object variable now in this case let's say we want to loop through uh, the cells here a1 to a5 so I want to loop through this range of cells the first thing that I want to do is I want to declare a variable let's say I'll call it cell dim cell as range if you're looping through say worksheets then you would want to uh, make this as a worksheet object variable so you would say dim worksheet as worksheet or dim my workbook as workbook so there you would declare it based on what kind of variable uh, object variable it is and now we would use the for each loop and the syntax here is that you type for each and then you type the name of the variable in this case it's cell and I would say for each cell in and then I would give the entire collection so let's say I would say for each cell in range range a1 to a5 and what this means is that it would loop through each cell within this range and Excel VBA automatically knows that this refers to ranges cells in this object collection because we've already uh, we have already declared it as a range object and now here at the end we would say next cell so it's very similar to for next loop and all you need to take care of is that there needs to be an object variable and then we use that variable and then we give the reference of this entire collection of that object so here what we would do is we would simply pick these numbers and we would print these numbers within VB uh, windows so I would say debug dot print and I would say cell what this does is let me open the immediate window and what this does is when we would loop through this it would simply print what's there in the cell here so or maybe I can also say cell dot value uh, even cell would have worked but it's always a good idea to be more specific so now let's go through this code I would press F8 it comes here it says for each cell in range A1 to A5 it would execute this line in here you can see it says 1 because it is now printing this value and this value as of now is 1 now it would go to the next cell in this collection which would be a2 and here it prints 2 then it prints 3 4 and 5 and then it goes out of the loop so this is how you can loop through a range of cells using the range object variable and then you can mention the line or the statement that you want to execute when it is looping through once that looping has been completed then it will come out of the loop now you can loop through worksheets you can loop through workbooks you can loop through charts collection you can loop through shapes collection you can loop through any object collection where you have uh, any object collection where you can declare this object variable you can loop through this so let's uh, take another example let me delete this entire thing and let's let's declare uh, say my WS which would be my worksheet as worksheet collection and here I would say for each my WS in worksheets now in this case what is happening is I know that in this case this worksheets collection would refer to this workbook only but in case you want to qualify this further you can use workbooks say so you can use workbooks for each dot XLSM 
dot worksheets. So in this case, it would know that I have to refer to the worksheets that are within this workbook. In this case, if I even remove this thing, then it would work fine. And what I would do is again, the same thing, I would type the name of the worksheets. In this case, the name would be sheet 1, sheet 2 and sheet 3. So let's say debug.print my ws dot name. And then finally we would say next my ws. Now let's loop through this. I would press F8. It comes here and when it goes here, see what happens? It says sheet one. And then I press again, it goes to the next sheet. In this case, it doesn't matter which sheet is activated or not. It starts with the leftmost sheet, which is the first sheet. Then this is the second one, then this is the third one. And then it would say sheet two, sheet three. You can use the same thing in case, say you want to protect all the sheets. Then you can say my ws dot protect. So in here, if I type say my ws.protect and now if I loop through this F I need to remove this here and now when I loop through this F8 see what happens this sheet has been protected now I can't do anything here if I try and do something it will say the cell or chart you're trying to change is on a protected sheet so you can see that sheet 1 has been protected sheet 2 is not protected as of now I can type anything here but if I go back to my VB editor and I run this code and now I come here I'll not be able to do it so what it has done is it has protected all the sheets so this is how you can loop through a collection of objects one object at a time using for each loop and these kind of loops are very helpful when you want to go through each cell one at a time or you want to go through the entire collection of worksheets or workbooks charts shapes and, and all kind of collections so this is how you can use for each loop in VBA in Excel I hope you found this video useful. Thank you and have a nice day.